Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 813 of Fallout 4. Last episode, we left Nuka World. We took, like, everything we could from that place. We freed up the settlement that was there. They cleared out the raiders. We made it a good settlement, so normal settlers have moved in. And it let me set up a supply line from there. And I chose to pick Oberland. So I'm very curious. When I view supply lines, it does not show... Uh, let's actually remove this marker. It does not show that Oberland is connected to Nuka World, but I had access to all of my materials from Nuka World, so it's like some weird instant settlement thing that doesn't quite show it, but it's there. I have access to all of my material while I'm over there, which is awesome. I am here to sell a few of my, my junk items to some of these vendors, that is kind of the plan. And then I want to go visit. Let's actually check the map to see if they show these old icons. Yes. Interesting. This one is like a hollow skull. This one's full. I wonder if that's because the pack died and it just hasn't updated. I gotta go visit all my old settlements. I uh, <laughs> obviously have had them. I keep like twitching and showing the raider settlements when you hover over. I think these. Yeah. I, I, I have to go reclaim my old settlements. We basically gave them to the raiders, but not anymore. Anyway, dudes, hopefully you guys, of course, are enjoying the Fallout videos, and I certainly appreciate those of you who take the time to like the videos. Thank you guys for that support. But I have a bunch of junk in my inventory. I had about 13 going on 14,000 pounds of crap. That is absurd. But what I want to do now is just check. This guy doesn't have anything that I particularly want, so what I will do is try to just to sell them some garbage stuff. Now, Nuka Quantum Grenades and Nuka Grenades and things that are specific to, like, like Nuka World, like the Nuka Launcher, I'm not going to get rid of, but I do want to get rid of, slowly and surely, some of these rando, uh, like, weapons and just, like, all this garbage we picked up over there. So it's a matter of trying to get the most out of each one of these vendors that I can I can possibly do. Power Fist is probably too expensive. Baseball bat. There you go. Two caps. That's it. He's going to have two caps to work with. So trade with you. I'm going to trade with the ammo person. What about the clothing guy? Yes. What do you got? Step right up. All the clothing fit to wear. Sure. Now I'll trade. Let's see what you have. Because <laughs> I'm not going to wear any of the clothing. I'm, I'm literally here to give you every ounce of garbage that I have. <laughs> yep. Uh, relentless. That is, refills your action points on a critical hit. Okay, I'm okay with that one. Resolute. Time slows down for a moment when changing. I think I got that from the arcade. I'm going to hang on to that one because it's probably slightly unique-ish. Don't want that one. The double barrel. We don't need hunting rifle. All this stuff. Uh, pipe rifles. Just trying to even out this trade. Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer? Sledgehammer? Okay, we can't really give him anything else. We're going to uh, be, be ahead of the, the, the price thing. Thirst Zapper. I gotta remember. This one is incredibly important. This one has my Nuka Cola Quantum Mons on it. I ought to go store that stuff somewhere else, to be honest with you. I have not given him anything that I shouldn't, so let's confirm that trade. And you know what? Here's what I want to do. Uh, what was in this one again? Perfectly preserved pie. I will put slightly elevated in terms of usefulness things in here until I rename them. So like the uh, Nuka grenades, the Nuka quantum grenades, the Nuka nuke. I think I put weaponized Nuka Cola quantum ammunition in my uh, my main thing, but the thirst zapper can go here. I don't want to accidentally sell that stuff. I don't really know if I'm ever going to get more of that, to be honest. I can always make another Thirst Zapper mod, no idea but I don't know where I can find like Thirst Zappers continuously. For two centuries with and, this ugly and, mug. Shh, trade. What have you got to trade today? Okay, his inventory upgrade or upgrade updated. This guy was bugged for a long time and he wouldn't give me anything new. I might sell him some garbage and take, well, I mean, my garbage and take literal junk for crafting ingredients. Grants increasing energy and damage resistance to lower your health. That's kind of potato. I'm not going to lie. Like, here's what I could do. I could say junk. Everything in your junk category, whether or not I truly honest and for truly require or need it, is better than just having items that I'm not going to use. Like, steel is useful, wood's useful, rubber's useful, ceramic's useful, sure. But let's cut out, like, the tiny stuff. Just take, like, all the Pro Snap camera. Concrete, I might need some more, but for now I'm good. I, I always know where I can get more. Surgical tray, turpentine, undamaged, like, all this stuff I want. Like, this has got just raw, decent material. How about that? 828 caps plus the 500 that he's packing. I think that'll uh, assist me in clearing out this inventory. Sledgehammer is 308. Plasma rifles, again, yeah. I, just, I don't want any of that. I've got a million of them. Some snub-nosed. 
some machine gun, sure. I kind of want to see if I should scrap these these fancier things for extra aluminum. That's why I've been skipping over these rifles. Uh, that, however, is like just a potato rifle. We're going to get rid of that. Tactical, advanced. Tactical and advanced 44 pistol. Way to, way to tactical mall ninja your 44 there, game. I just like, like love the naming convention. Really? One cap my way? Hey, bruh. Let's even out that trade. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I gave him everything that he can pretty much take. You know... Things are looking up. I can feel it this time. No, that's just the radiation making your penis slowly fall off, like the rest of your skin. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. I think I've traded everything to them that I really could trade. This is supposed to be a junk cabinet that is dedicated to items that I wish to sell. Which means I ought to go through here and look around. Like garbage, garbage. Uh, some of these things I kind of want to see if I can scrap down and get some better material. But I know for a fact... There's a lot of crap in here that I gotta get rid of in the armor category. Army fatigues. No, if that gets used, that's poo. Athletic outfits. And now the Brotherhood is still... Like, all the power armor stuff is super renewable. So I might just sell it, but I have a couple frames that are empty. I guess I should fill the frames first. The baseball caps, sure. Bolstering, nah, I don't want that. These are sort of unique, admittedly. I'm gonna... I guess I'll hang on to that one. The cappy stuff. I guess I'm never really gonna get a lot of that ever again. Pack armor and weapons I don't care about. That is garbage. And here's the chameleon stuff. I need I need to go through. And I need to make sure I don't have like these duplicates. I think these might both be duplicates to the chameleon stuff we have up top. We'll have to see. Cloaking synth garbage. That gets sold. Pretty much if it's garbage. I'm classifying it as garbage. It goes here. Combat armor. Uh, that's kind of like a gray area. I might start selling some of that stuff to be honest. Cryogenic cunning combat armor. Agility and perception. I should hang on to that one. Raider stuff goes away. Army fatigues goes to settlers. This is all all this disciple stuff, all potato. Same thing with the operator stuff. Do not need or want it in my inventory. Let's get it out of here. Drifter's outfits, no thank you. Duelist, duelist is potato. That's a lot of plaid suits. Where the hell was I at? Get all these plaid suits. Fashionable glasses. Ah, uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't get rid of them. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of them. Flannel shirt and jeans, sure. Furry pants, yiff, man. Yiff. All right, now gas mask, green rags, potato. I should check to see if my wedding ring is in here. It should be. My double wedding rings, because I put a one away. Wedding ring. Oh, whoa, God, I, I picked up a couple extra. Well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a swinger or something, I guess you could say. <laughs> I got a couple extra. <laughs> got a couple extra wedding rings. They're a good thing that they're weightless. I think I picked up, like, two on the ground one time. I think I saw them and they're very hard to see. They're next to some skeletons. That was a little bit ago. Safe crackers is definitely garbage. Space costume, that's kind of, again, a unique thing. So I might hang on to that. As long as this isn't like combat armor. Then again, I should just get rid of a lot of this. To be honest. Unless it's like really identifiable right off the bat combat armor. I'm not going to sift through it. I'm just going to chuck it. Can always adjust the modifications on combat armor as I see fit. Ranger stuff, however, is so, so potato. We don't want that. Sunglasses, no thank you. I can sell those. Sweater vest. T45 really just has no place. Same thing with T51. T60, some, okay, X01 may not be renewable completely, but T60 is guaranteed to be renewable and is easily obtained via the Brotherhood, uh, regardless if we're on their side or against them. So I will keep T60, but T51 and T45, I will classify as garbage and sell. Welding, wrap, and ragged pants. I don't really know where I got those. Obviously, X01 stays. Obviously, X01 is important. This is all poop. Punishing combat. I got two of the same, same exact legendary, the same exact piece. Do these helmets just get, get rid of these helmets? They just look weird. Stupid pack. Get rid of this pack stuff. We've been the pack has been dead for so long. Can we just can we just remove pack garbage from my inventory? I'll be fighting lots of dead pack people just around with, like, that set piece over in Nuka World. I'm sure I can still find more. Patched, patchwork, patrolman. Yeah. Uh, pocket improved disciples. This is disciples and operator stuff. Tempered raider. Hmm. Disciples armored skirt. It is legendary, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Rad powered? No, get rid of it. Skull band lantern? Okay. Operators. We've got a fair amount of operator stuff. I don't remember what their glasses look like. Oh, that's the, that's, the, that's the glasses that girl had that made her look like Tracer. I'm like, Tracer, is that you? We playing Overwatch now? 
Uh, I want that chest piece. You can see my weight coming down substantially. It almost always seems to be the apparel category that has the majority of the weight. Just like straight up the armor is just super heavy. Newsboy cap. I don't really care about that. That is garbage. Leather, leather, leather. Uh, the combat armor, again, I'm kind of hanging on to them. I'm going to put that in mean storage, I think. Disciples. Just because it'll be uniform. And when everyone wears the stuff, they'll have like the same crap. Metal helmets. Martyr Raider. No. Lucky metal. No, I don't want that. Lucky combat armor, right? Like, I guess I could give that to somebody. I don't want long johns. Uh, lots of leather. Lots of leather. I did put away all the junk that I had. However, I did just pick up a, a good bit of junk from one of the traders. So, out of curiosity, I just deposit that. Yeah, a little bit. Now, under ammo, weaponized Nuka Cola Quantum. Let's keep things consistent. Let's keep that weaponized Nuka Cola Quantum ammo in there. I have so much data. I've gotten rid of about 10,000 pounds worth of garbage. That's, um, that's a pretty good start, don't you think? A T60, I should like leave stuff that I want to keep up here first. Like I got a lot of T60 and a lot of combat armor. That means I just have to filter through it, which sucks. So all of this stuff, I want to see if I need a scrap. But but the Eternus, legendary. This thing I'm not certain about. I'll leave the Kami Whacker in there. I kind of want to see if I want to keep it. F Fury Grenades does 50 points additional radiation damage. This, I mean, the Aeternus is amazing because it's quite literally unlimited ammo for free. But on a Gatling laser, plus 50, like, this is actually good. That's 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, each hit rapidly. Like, that on a minigun would make sense. That'd be sensical. Uh, this is poop. Those are all poo. I'm gonna, like, look through the legendaries I want to keep. I'll keep that one because I think it's kind of unique. I'll keep that one. Uh, all the, all the Brotherhood of Steel stuff, the T60, the Cappy, the unique things, army fatigues for my settlers... I should get rid of my cappy glasses. I will keep this chameleon stuff. Now, let's see. Right arm, right leg. So the left arm is new, but the right arm is not. So I did get a duplicate, but that is four pieces of a full chameleon set. Oh, my God. I actually need to put the stuff on to see how uh, good it is. Army fatigues yet again. Uh, dude, I can't wait. See, this is really what I want to keep. Heavy stuff. I want to give heavy combat armor to my uh, my settlers. Leather's poo. Uh, that's poo. That's all. I can just go chuck back down. I don't really care about Operator's Disciples. Combat armor. Let's pull the combat. I know combat armor is not even, like, the best. It is just uniform. And I don't want everyone wearing, like, 13 different things that will confuse the ever-living shit out of me. Uh, military fatigues again. And I'll keep a military cap. Why not? I gotta get around to that, like, decking out the settlers. But part of me is really glad that I didn't because I disbanded settler uh, settlements. You know? Imagine if I had to go back there and, like, get all those people to, like, give me their items first. T60. The X-01. I might have enough to go just chuck on some frames here. There's one empty frame here. This is not considered theft. Good. Uh, X-01 leg. I mean, I guess I have, like, decent X-01 first we should look into. Uh, I, I got a Mark Six torso just chilling in here. That's kind of cool. Maybe I should keep it uniform. All the Mark III stuff. Because I think I had a full set of Mark III torso. This is all Mark III. Full set of X-01 at Mark III. And I got this one just chilling here, Mark III. There's a suit down here, which I don't really remember what that one is. And didn't I park the frame? Did I park a frame down here? Or is it just that one? Oh, yeah. Kind of walk right by that one. Hurdy, dirty, dirty, dirty. Uh, I got a lot of, again, Mark III. It seems to me that when you find stuff out there, it tends to be Mark III. You get lucky, you might find some really high up stuff, but it doesn't really matter. Eventually it all gets upgraded anyway. But apparel, okay. We've really come a long way with cleaning this out. Let's get rid of all the X-01 stuff and leave that behind. Look how fast that makes the weight go down. Now, aid. Believe it or not, there is a humongous chunk that, like, not chunk of meat, like, haha, but uh, a humongous chunk of weight that's coming purely from this category. Uh, um, with all those eggs being a pound a piece? Yeah. If there was one thing that I got a lot of while I was over there, it was food. I know it's kind of, like, weird. 115 different fever blossom plants that I looted. Damn! And all the gazelle meat, the gazelle steaks. When I go Idiot Savant and I cook this stuff up, I am going to acquire so much XP. 
so many levels. Part of me, like, just wants to do that and then go do some of the stuff I need to do. 68 pounds of Mirelurk eggs. I think the omelets were what I was currently eating. Or if not, I'll be eating soon. Look at that, man. I'm finally below 3,000 in the weight just by getting rid of food. And then all the Nuka Cola Quantums and Cherry Victory Wild Grape, the Nuka Lurk stuff. I'm telling you. It's it's the uh, it's like the unsung hero of the weight category. It's your it's your it's your uh, your aid, like your, of your of your weight total. It's your aid category. Like it just it sneaks up on you. I mean, granted, we've been clearing the entire place, but there is an absurd amount of stuff in here. Just chilling, silt beans. Uh, like if if a food ends up being a pound a piece, that's when it really catches up. Like oh my god, like all the mute fruit that I'm chilling on here. Granted, I think the wild beef fruit's lighter, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Sugar bombs, of course. I mean, they're half a pound each. Sugar bombs, the wine. Yao guai meat, 24. Some food weighing, tw like, two. That catches up to you real quick. Alrighty, what do we got here? Potted meat. I, know, I wasn't using the omelets, but that's fine. Potato crisps. Jet antibiotics, a dick doll. I'll hang on to that. It's all relatively lightweight. 2.5k, and again, I pretty much know what most of it is. It's all going to go down in the uh, filing cabinet over here. Whew, we are almost done sorting out. Again, this is every single thing I got from being in Nuka World. That is just ridiculous. I, I wanted to test something. Let me save. And let me see about these weapons. Marksman, marksman, or dropping them. When I go to scrap them, do I acquire aluminum from some of these? 21 aluminum. I would make a very pretty penny selling these things, but that is a shitload of aluminum. And remember, for a while, we sort of had an aluminum shortage just because of all the power armor nonsense that I was doing. So I'm going to drop everything in here and then go to scrap it. I don't believe operator sniper rifles, these AKs, I don't think they give me any of that. So I'll, I'll drop one as like a test of each. And if it doesn't give me a boatload of aluminum, then I won't like scrap it. I'll just store it. I expect these rifles to do it. 22 aluminum, 23 aluminum. Wow, but that's because this has all the, 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 the bells and whistles. 26, 25. Okay, here's a, can I find a plain one? Here's a plain one. No aluminum. Store. Store. It's, it's poopy. Night vision one. When they have the night vision and the mods like that, that's when they, uh, yeah, that's when they got that aluminum on them. Yeah, I just got a shitload of aluminum, guys. Absolutely worth my time. These things all get sold. That gets sold. These are potentially worth some things here. I didn't mean to drop the power fist. I don't think we'll get what I want out of that, but hey, I can check, right? <laughs> the guys are probably looking at me over here like, what the fuck's he doing? Like, where are these items coming from? And where are they going? Seven aluminum. I'll take seven aluminum. 23. Seven on the pistols. 18 on the disciple rifle. Power fist, now nah, we store that or sell that. 13 on a 10 millimeter? Yeah, you can't tell me that's not a buttload of aluminum right there. I just picked up. Obviously, a lot of my weight is just right there in pack rifles, so why don't we start dropping some of this stuff off? The Gatling laser, it's debatable from selling this at that point. I'm not certain. But watch as my weight. <laughs> yeah, it kind of comes back to me here. <laughs> um, I guess I'll sell those mines. I never really use them. I always carry about 10 or 11 grenades. Okay, these things yet again. This is all potato to me. Heavy leather. I don't really care if it's heavy or heavy raid or stuff. It's got to be combat armor. This is poo. Poo, 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 poo. Oh my god, we're below a thousand! We're below a thousand, you guys! Oh! <laughs> it's, it's just insane to think about that everything that I'm putting in here, we're, we're underweight. I'm putting stuff in here that it... It was essentially just the culmin- This is the culmination of every ounce of time I spent at Nuka World. That's everything from that entire area, like, and a whole, a whole map. Like, that's just scary to even think about, man. That's crazy. Uh, now, again, about these chameleon stuff. I have the left arm, which is new. So this is all chameleon. And the right arm is not new, because we have the right arm. What I want to try here, let's save. It's going to be a little bit weird. Dunk, 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 and dunk. We have them all equipped. 
When I sneak, I go invisible. What I do not like is the screen thingy that it does and like the, the weird, like every time you crouch. I think you have to like do this, you become detected, you do this, and then ah! But my problem with that is I'm always crouching, you know, to tell like where people are. Now, why am I like coming out of cloak? I, I, I remember it kind of always being on there. Is it because I'm detected already? Like, do I have to like mess around a little bit more? Hold on, let's come out here. Okay, as soon as you move, I thought I thought it would keep you like that. Oh, clearly I just need more. I have four pieces of chameleon. That, that's just look at you. That's nuts. Smooth as a baby. You guys hear that? My skin's as smooth as a baby. I am I am picture perfect, you guys. But uh, obviously it doesn't give me any defensive values. We're not going to worry about it. However, I will just drop this off. I'm going to call the other uh, one the annoying... The, the annoying left arm. Where is it? Apparel. Just to make, you keep it the consistent annoying left arm. Keep things consistent, you know? Craft. This thing. Annoying left arm. <laughs> it may be kind of cool, but if it ain't annoying, I don't know what it is because that, that constant just is insanity. Super stupid. I believe I've already dropped off the other one that's in here somewhere, the chameleon thing, right? Apparel. Oh my god, there's so much, so much stuff. Chameleon. Okay, let's see. Chameleon, chameleon. Okay, as long as it's stored, it's good. I'm underweight, not to a point where I'd like to be. I think I still have a few things on me. Again, like some extra fusion cores, potentially. You could chuck that. Uh, I believe I saw it a little bit under A, like melons, some mentats I don't need. Psycho. What else do I have? The myelurk meat. Um, I don't have a lot of food on me. I wonder where... Oh, the... Oh, the mods. Thirst Separate Squirt Gun mod. Nucatron Torso mod. I can put them in here. As long as... I'll have access to them, then. I feel like for some reason I have something extra on me. Oh, it could be the extra stim packs. I did pick up a few of those. Get rid of them. That's nice. All right. We are underweight. We're at a good spot. Let's think this power armor is still all right in terms of damage. I need to go visit all of these old settlements. The ones that were taken by raiders. Or rather, given to raiders. I need to go all the way over there and deal with them. Uh, let's check our map here. Croup Manor, Kingsport. Croup Manor is like the headquarters or whatever. Kingsport we cleared, remember? We killed the pack there. They like revolted against us as soon as we gave them that place. They weren't happy. Um, I guess I gotta come like over here. Get away from Dan, Dan, uh, Dancy Boy, uh, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Dancy Pants. Dancy Pants. <laughs> I gotta come over here and chuck down a signal grenade or something like that. Feels good, man. We're underweight. We are underweight. I just got rid of roughly 14,000 pounds of shit. Never thought I'd see the day. Never thought I'd see the day, but it's all cleared. What could get sold got sold when I could. Like, uh, we're, we're pretty much as good as we can be right now. We just need to pass some time and let things sort of... Ah! update with the vendors to sell to them. Could go to Diamond City and, you know, exchange some things, but hey, we're fine. I might look into using the Eternus just for the lols, giving it to somebody else, and I might look into, like, modding some weapons here soon. But first things first, I really want to visit these old settlements just to see, like, what's what's going on with them. What's the, uh, what's the over-under here? Freddy Bird, come on, ma'am. <laughs> Doesn't quite get to the aiming animation. Eh, 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 the gun's too heavy. Eh, eh. You just had to fly over Corvega. You couldn't just go around like a normal person. Oh, come on. What are you focused on? I thought I heard a gunshot. I think something shot at him. Uh, dear Verdi Bird, I will shoot you out of the sky myself. Let's go. What are you doing? Well, um, we were going to hit your... What the? What? You saw... What? You saw that skybox, right? What? Okay, what the hell are you doing? You're dealing with raiders. Can you just ignore them? Thank you. There's a raider up there. 
don't think my pistol can actually reach that at this distance. Yeah, no, it's not gonna tag them. Could do one of these numbers. Boop! We're in the face! <laughs> That's what you get for shooting at my verdi bird. How dare you! Alright, where are we landing here? Where are we headed? Um. I think I'm gonna go to like Easy City Downs or the Pridwin. Actually, I'm gonna go to the Pridwin. We Welcome get a pretty bird signal Paladin. grenade. Then we can get out, hit up Nordhagen, and hit up every neighboring settlement because we're not gonna be overweight or anything like Your that. Your should be loaded and ready to That's not gonna be fire. a problem. Good shooting, sir. Oh, thank, thank you. My minigun's ready to fire. Boy, if only you had a guy who was on the minigun when you were dealing with the raiders that are shooting at you right now. Why you were circle strafing them and not shooting them, I don't know. But uh, now that you have somebody who's capable of shooting, and eh, you don't want to go over there. Typical Brotherhood nonsense. And yeah, we'll go head up the bread one, buy some signal grenades, because that's just always a worthwhile investment. But uh, it does look like it is time to wrap up today's episode, guys. Episode 813, we are back in the Commonwealth. I'm going to go visit all these settlements, make sure everything's hunky-dory. I don't think everything is going to be hunky-dory with them. Uh, and then look into maybe Far Harbor. I also want to look into souping up the 4570, the uh, the... The lever action rifle, because we'd be getting the ammunition types over there, is what I'd suspect. I think that's a Far Harbor weapon and ammo type. Just like 7.62 and the AKs were exclusive to Nuka World, but that is that is on the plate. That is something for next episode. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Episode 813. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.